few years ago, we painted our above ground pool. At that time, I wasn't recording many videos, so I didn't get great footage of that process. We do have a blog post with all the details, and that's linked below. It's something we always get lots of questions about, so I decided to put together this video with a little bit of footage I do have. Most of the video is from Instagram stories or just regular photos, so it's not the greatest. But hopefully will help with any questions you might have about how to paint a pool. We found our pool on Craigslist for $300, but you can sometimes find free ones. We paid because it came with extra things like a pump, pool cover, ladder, and other supplies we would have been buying anyhow. The difference a little bit of paint made is huge. We went with black paint because it matched our patio wall, and I was hoping maybe it might help the pool be a tiny bit warmer. It is an unheated pool. Sadly, we've never really noticed a difference with that, but maybe somewhere that gets more sun might notice a difference with it. For this project, we used oil-based paint because it's better on metal and will hold up better in the long run. We used Rust-Oleum oil-based paint in a flat finish. We use this paintbrush for oil paint for cutting in, and we also used a paint roller. We did buy painter's tape and planned to use that on the top rail and posts, but ended up not doing it because it just felt like it was taking too much time. And Mike is a pretty great painter, so he didn't really need it. So it's up to you on whether you use it or not. First, we cleaned the pool walls really well. We used a pressure washer on the walls and scrubbed them down with a rag. If your pool walls have any rust spots on them, you'll want to lightly sand those. As I mentioned before, when we started, we taped off the post, but then decided it was too annoying and not really necessary, so we didn't continue doing that. Mike cut in around the edges, and I followed behind him rolling the center. It definitely helps to have two people doing this. It just makes it so much faster. We even had Lincoln helping us out for a bit. The other two boys, not so much. They were swimming while we painted. We did one coat of paint on our pool. It covered just fine, so we decided to leave it at that. It took about two hours to paint the pool, and we used almost a full can of paint. This will be our fourth season with the painted pool. The paint has held up really well. I did share a blog post on how the pool held up after one year. You can find the link for that below. We get quite a good amount of rain and snow here, and the paint has held up really well to that. We did have some little dings and chips in the paint, mostly from the boys not paying enough attention while mowing the lawn and rocks hitting the side. There's a photo in the blog post to show you what that looks like close up. Two coats of paint might have prevented some of the chips from happening, but most are really small and you only see them close up. We aren't perfectionists when it comes to our yard, so this was just fine with us. This year, I know the paint will definitely need to be touched up. We've gotten more dings and chips in the paint, so we're planning on doing that once it's actually warm enough here to open the pool. Overall, this is definitely a project I would recommend. A can of paint in a couple hours made such a huge difference. Let us know if there's any questions you have that we didn't answer.